Republicans in the United States have joined President Trump in celebrating their first major legislative accomplishment of 2017. The House of Representatives on Wednesday gave its final approval to the most sweeping tax reform since the 1980s. No Adam with the details. President Trump has finally got his first big win in Congress after a year of GOP infighting and political stumbles. The largest tax reform bill since 1986 now heads to Trump's desk to be signed into law at a later date for technical reasons. But before that, he joined his fellow Republicans to celebrate outside the White House. He said the $1.5 trillion package will create jobs and boost the economy and also left room to say his trademark statement. We are going to bring at least $4 trillion back into this country, money that was frozen overseas and in parts and worlds and some of them don't even like us, and they had the money. Well, they're not going to have the money long. And uh, so it's, it's really, I guess it's very simple. When you think you haven't heard this expression, but we are making America great again. You haven't heard that, have you? But Democrats call the legislation a boon to the rich. The president does very well under this bill. Most of his cabinet does very well under this bill. M large percentage of his contributors do very well under this bill. Yes, the president is part of the top 1%, and the bill is aimed to help the top 1%. The president himself, while praising the bill, cited the deep cut in the corporate tax rates from 35 to 21% as, quote, probably the biggest factor in our plan. American individuals making less than $75,000 a year will get temporary tax cuts, but after the year 2027 may see that rate increase. Democrats also argue that the tax reform plan will blow up national debt. House Speaker Paul Ryan said the GOP is willing to risk running up deficits with the aim of getting a higher annual economic growth rate. Though Democrats are furious over the new policy, they remain upbeat about the potential political fallout in next year's congressional elections. Noara, Arirang News.